There are thousands of languages spoken across the world and several different languages spoken by students across the campus of Murray State University. And English has become a common language throughout the world and is therefore useful to know. The TESOL program at Murray State prepares its students to teach English as a second language all over the world. I spoke with the director of the TESOL program to find out how it has grown and improved over the years. We're here with Dr. Sue Schroeder, the director of the Teaching English as a Second Language program. Sue, talk a little bit about, give us an overview of the program. The program was established in 1997, um, and it had 13 students in it, just master's students who were here at the university, and its one goal was to train people to teach adults, mostly incoming university students, right here in Murray, um, Eng the English that they would need to get their degrees and to study here at Murray State. Because Murray State's always had a strong international aspect to their um, mission, uh, it fit really well. Uh, since then, we've expanded a little, and now we have about 114 students. Wow. We have a combination of students who are here studying for their MA and students who are online. A lot of Kentucky teachers getting their ESL endorsement, and we just started last year the undergraduate um, primary certification, um, sorry, base certification. What factors help you grow into that number? One is that the world was changing. Um, English is the language. And the nice thing about the world changing and technology developing is you've got to use something to communicate. And right now, English is the choice. And so there's been a big growth in the last 15 years in English as a language of international communication, not just here in the US. Also in the US, we've had growing uh, numbers of migrants and immigrants, people who come to the US for various reasons. And those are historically and continually wanting to learn English to fit in and to succeed, you know, pursue, pursue the American dream. Do you find that freshmen come in interested in the program or is it something that students discover once they get here that's something of interest to them? They, they do come in interested. Up until now, it's just been a graduate program. So we've sort of been like, go get your, go get a wonderful undergraduate degree and then come back and talk to us. And that could have been in English, but people come from all kinds of backgrounds because the major you have can determine the type of English you teach. If you're going to teach nurses and medical English, it's not bad to have an undergraduate degree in biology plus a minor or a lot, a lot of classes in English. Um, so a lot of it depends on what you want to do. So come to us later, that's great. Um, but we developed that undergraduate program because there were undergraduates who said, you know, this sounds really great and I don't want to wait. I'd like to go ahead now and, and I'm really interested in teaching in the public schools. And so we've developed that. Well, Sue, it's exciting and congratulations on this program building into one of the university's signature programs. Thank you very much. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks.